If this were December 2020, or August 2021, the argument for vaccinating young children against COVID-19 would be easy to make. With case counts surging and hospitals near capacity, giving young kids a jab would be counted on to slow transmission of a virus that's killing thousands of Americans a day. The risk that inoculation could cause heart inflammation in young kids appears to be minuscule. Countering the coronavirus would clearly win out. But it's late October 2021, and the virus appears to be in retreat. New infections and deaths have both plunged more than 45% since a surge in September. And after multiple waves of infections, more than one in four U.S. residents have likely battled the coronavirus and gained some immunity as a result. All that is good news, but it also means that widespread vaccination of the nation's grade school population offers less of an upside than it would have before. That makes it harder to say there's enough to be gained by the shot to offset the theoretical possibility of heart risks, a downside that's not yet been measured. These are the calculations experts are trying to make as they decide whether Pfizer and BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11 should be made available, and especially whether it should be recommended, for all 28 million new children in this age group. On Tuesday, the Food and Drug Administration's panel of scientific advisors voted overwhelmingly to recommend that access to the vaccine be extended to families who want it for their young children. But the panel also made clear it did not endorse the goal of vaccinating young children as quickly as possible. At this stage of the pandemic, there are just too many unknowns to support blanket vaccinations for all, several panel members said. One uncertainty is whether prepubescent boys face the same risk of heart inflammation in response to the vaccine that has been seen in teen boys and young men. Another is whether the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention are correct in estimating that at least 40% of elementary school-aged children have already been infected and are now protected to some degree. But the most intriguing uncertainty is state of the pandemic. Whether we are near the end of the outbreak or just resting between waves is an unknown with sweeping implications, the FDA advisors said. If trends continue the way they're going, this may not be the emergency it is now, immunologist Dr. James E. K. Hildreth said at Tuesday's meeting.